Hi guys, and welcome back to Fallout 4, uh, episode 2, we have just exited the vault 111, or 111 as the sales guy like to call it. And we're already finding those wonderful Bethesda, Bethesda bugs, we've got an extinguisher in the ground. And let's just take a quick look around. There are horrible skeletons everywhere. Right away, yes please. Yeah, I'll take those as well. <laughs> Does nothing. Sure, I'll take a folder. You wondering why I'm picking up all this junk? There is a mechanic in the game. Um where you craft things and uh, in order to craft things you need raw resources and the way you get raw resources is by scrapping junk that you find in the world so that's why the coffee cups and stuff from episode one and we're going to experience that scrapping stuff pretty soon coffee butt coffee cups Coffee cups in particular because they're ceramics, and ceramic is pretty hard to come by um, compared to a lot of other resources. The one that's not so hard to come by is uh, steel and wood. So don't go um, happily picking up all junk, you probably want to avoid most metal stuff actually because uh, you get so much of it. Unless it's uh, certain different kinds of metal, because there's not just steel. There's uh, lead, aluminium, gold, silver, which is why I took the silver fork. And here we are, back in Sanctuary. <laughs> Such a beautiful place. Codsworth, what happened to the world? The world, Mum. Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? Oh, that's mean. Apparently I'm the worst half. Uh, they killed they, him. They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? <laughs> they stole He's him. Gone. God damn it. Someone took him. They stole my baby. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It'll take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Are you okay? Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. Oh, nothing. And don't get me started 
about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? <laughs> Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this holotape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Sorry about the cut there, and a very loud car going past with very loud music. Maybe. I don't know, Codsworth. I... Follow me! Okay. I mean, he looks pretty damn good for a 210 year old robot. I can handle most of the stuff himself. Hmm, <laughs> blood plague land. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Um, you're right, they caught with. <laughs> I think he got stuck on the mailbox. I have actually noticed that uh, there appears to be some pretty awful uh, pathfinding in the game. Yeah. It's so weird having a game actually say my name. Hey, Codsworth. Miss Rose, Sir and young Sean, they aren't here. Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are as put together as I am. <laughs> There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the red rocket station? I shall remain here and secure the I do remember the way, actually, but only because I've done this bit before. Straw pillar. I'll come back for that. It's worth us taking a look in houses, actually. So I'm going to finish looking in this one. Because kind of clean blue suit. <laughs> toy car. Very good junk. Let me tell you about toy cars. They're made of wood and screws. It's the screws you're after. You start picking up basically everything so far in this game. It's I've experienced. It's a hoarder's nightmare. Or dream. TV dinner tray. Absolutely brilliant. Made of aluminium. <laughs> Military cap. Yeah. Enhanced targeting card. That's circuitry and copper. Sequin dress. Light bulb. Man. <laughs> what we're really after is things like this. Especially the duct tape adhesive is brilliant. 
And I have a lot of carrying mine, I think, because my character's uh, strength. Yeah, 270. My first character only had 225. So that's not an enormous difference, but I think um, there's perks I have access to later. Bubble gum, toaster, fridge door, <laughs> fresh Nuka Cola. Well, can't really be that fresh, it's got to be 200 odd years old. The loot seems to be randomized because these things weren't uh, available to me early on. Uh, in my last playthrough, in these particular houses. Let's go to our house. Because we want this. Bingo. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. Yes. This is exactly why you're after magazines. Coffee tin. We'll leave that other stuff for now because we can always come back. And we do come back to Sanctuary quite a bit in the future. I won't pre spoil that. Let's just get a move on. There's one particular house that I'm after, and I think it's this one. Already learning all the tricks of playing this one. <laughs> Punch. Oh, it's so satisfying. It has the exact same unlocking minigame from Fallout and Skyrim. <laughs> Dang ass lockpick, bobby pin Bad. combo thing. Desk fan, laundered pink dress. Oh, I'll take your desk fan. As you saw, uh, you can inspect the materials things have. If we come across to junk. You'll see like adjustable wrench, gear and two steel, ball pen, wood and two steel, bloat fly gland, two acid, ceramic, steel, asbestos, aluminium, gear screw and steel. You get it. So you um, examine individual things. That's what I was after. Most impacts. And no, maybe it is not this house. So this house. This is a drug dealer's house. There's a drug dealer in Sanctuary. Selling to all those clean kids. Hacking. Select a potential password with mouse one. If chosen password is incorrect, the number of letters that match the terminal's password, both letter and position, will be displayed on screen. So. This is also from Fallout, people will recognize it. You pick a word and um, it will give you clues as to how close you are. But uh, I'm terrible at this game. It goes with the territory of dyslexia. So um, what I tend to do to solve this one is I just click ones until Sweet. I get a proper answer. But I didn't get to show you then. <laughs> There's ways that you can either quit out and start it again or um, load holotype. Oh, didn't know that was a thing. So, we're in the business of happiness. Oh, this isn't actually a drug dealer. I misconstrued this uh, originally. This is the vault tech guy. Makeshift bomb. I'll disarm that. You see, I didn't get the bomb for that. I actually just got a bunch of materials. So we're going to open the safe. This is the vault tech guy's house. The one that was selling us the entry to... Uh, I only had a bobby pin. Yeah, I broke my bobby pin. Anyone else have a bobby pin around here? Because I'd really like to get into that safe. Medics. I think there was some drug selling going on. Let me just double check this terminal. Because I seem to remember them saying about... Uh, Totally high strung and needs to relax. I keep telling him that offering to help, but so far no dice. Looks like the guy self medicated with pie. Baker. My favorite tinfoil hat wearing nut job. Good for seven ampules of day tripper a week. Yeah, so he is a, uh, a drug lord. Day tripper. And a gun. 
because criminals always have guns laying around their house. Or something like that. <laughs> this is where we get introduced to cooking. And red roaches. Oh god. Exit the station, please. I don't intend to get eaten by a red roach while trying to cook food. Right, let's try that again. So, uh, we can roast some baked bloatfly and more. Let's make some baked bloatfly. And some grilled red roach. We'll make lots of that. Uh, food. If you have raw that, uh, if you have raw components, so if I just ate that meat raw, it would have given me a whole bunch of radiation. But um, as you can see, it gives me 30 HP. Just like that. And I have quite a lot of HP because I have high endurance. Don't have armor though at the moment, which is a bit of a problem. No oh, good. Free more money. Fishing rod. Yeah. Sweet. Is that for fishing rod? Bah. Is that fishing rod a weapon? That would be great. Nope. Let's go and get on with things. Fragmentation grenades in the trash. Yes. This is ideal. <laughs> Thank you for your contributions. He obviously got killed by a dog who died soon after. Is that drifter outfit? Yes, it is better armor. So we will wear that. And now we look ultra cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> we can even use that tire iron, but I'm uh, adamant about punching things, so we'll keep to punching things. Let's go check this place out. Greet the dog. Yeah. Hey doggy do. Hey boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Hmm, you okay? You seem like an okay guy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Sweet. We also got a level. This is our first level. Face your dog and press E. Hey. Go. Uh, get disc fan, inspect Rather the workshop. Useful. And you can exit commands by just pressing tab. What have you brought me? Adhesive. Oh, that's the best. You're the best. Did you know that? You're the best. You've also brought me something. Stim pack. Brilliant. <laughs> this is a uh, workshop. You can use the workshop to build up your settlement. So you can see down there in the bottom I've got like structures, furniture, decorations, power, defense, resources, stores, and crafting. This is all the stuff they were talking about in the um, promo materials leading up to the release. So. Um, this is how, you know all that junk I was picking up before? I can now actually use that. I can do... Oh, we've got friends. Mole rats. Come here, I want to punch you. Don't all come at once. Come one at a time so that I can punch you without taking any damage. That's preferable. All right, mate, duct tape. All right, hi. Why do they have duct tape? I shouldn't complain, duct tape is adhesive and that's one of those rare materials that I'm after. All right, did I get you all? I think I got you all. So what I was about to say was, and now I've kind of lost a spot to do it in because they've all got holes everywhere when they've dug up out of the ground. If I come into my inventory, um, because I now own this place now that I've used that workshop, I think. I think that's how it works. I come into my inventory and I go over to my junk. 
And then I just start dropping things. Let's drop our 11 coffee cups. And our desk fan, and our duct tape, dog bowl, enhanced targeting, extinguisher, yada yada. And then I hold V. Yeah, I do own this place. Cool. And then I can just press R to scrap things. This seems to be the only way that I know of to scrap items you've picked up in the world. You need to bring them back to somewhere you own and then do this. Drop them on the ground and then scrap them. Don't know if there's a better way of doing it, but that's the way that I do it. <laughs> and then you quit the workshop menu. And then we do it all over again. So, inventory. Drop the fishing rod. Gold watch. Fuse. Hot plate. Light bulb. All right, teeth. All right, hides. Bottles give you glass. Free war money gives you cloth. I'm going to keep that though, it's good for selling. Uh, silver, ta silver table knife. Dinner trays for aluminium. Teddy bear for leather and cloth. You get the idea. So, this is probably the only time I'm going to do this junk on uh, screen. From this point on, if I ever need to like stand here and scrap a whole bunch of stuff, I'm probably just going to do exactly that and then come back. But for now, just so you have an idea of how to do this, at least how to do it my way, you know. So all this stuff is going back to that workshop. It's not actually going into my inventory. I hit escape here and I go back to this workshop. Although I think this already had stuff in it, but you can see there's a lot of raw stuff in here now. And that is from all the stuff we just took about. And we can get more. And let me just show you how that works. If you own an area, there's a whole lot of junk usually in these places that you don't actually want. Like these tires. You can see I can scrap them too. And then, bam, 10 rubber. This is why you also don't need much steel because there's so much stuff made of steel. Awesome. But I'm going to do all that stuff off screen. We just got a hat. We didn't have a tap. Well, we didn't have a useful hat until now. Hard hat. It's got defense on it. And we look cool as heck. <laughs> no, it's the wrong thing. Got hard hat and drifter. Looks so good. You can use this to make cooking stuff. Let's head on. What other useful loot do we have here? Food. I'm only looking for the stuff that I can take with me because, of course, again, I own this place, so I can just come back here anytime and scrap things that are sitting around. So I don't actually need to pick them up like I do in other places. I think we're good. Let's move on, boy. Dog meat is so cute, by the way. Look, watch this. Dog meat. How I want to talk doing, to you. Buddy? I want you to hey do boy. some tricks. You know any tricks? <laughs> See? So cute. Come on, dog meat. Let's go beat things up. Like these gross things. It's probably where we want to. Use our power attack, actually. I'm getting my ass kicked. I think they're bleeding me. That's why my health is draining so, like... Ah, oh, no, that's raw. What do I do with my cooked stuff? Old red rich. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I know my health is low. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the stim pack. This game doesn't have doctor's bags or anything, and as far as I can tell, if you get uh, any status ailments like bleeding or poison, or you're on fire, or you've broken a bone or something, um, the only way you can deal with that is by using a stim pack. Um, eating food only only heals you; it doesn't deal with any of that stuff. And I'm not sure why I'm picking up hub flowers. I haven't worked that stuff out yet. I think it's to do with chemistry because uh, there's a whole lot of crafting in Fallout 4 now. 
or in Fallout now, rather. And so I think you pick up alchemical plants, kind of like Skyrim, how you walk around and pick up uh, different plants. Oh, gourds. Delicious. I'll take these. Um, so yeah, you do a lot of crafting. Oh, bobby pin. I need that. Thank you. And bobby pin box. I probably need the ashtray too because that's ceramics. That's an advanced safe. Can't do anything about that. Oh, you know what I totally forgot to do? Let's look at leveling up. Yeah. Check it out. So this is our perk chart. Um, this is what I mean about being able to increase stats. You can actually spend your point. You can see I've got down the bottom there, enter, choose one. Uh, one is how many points I have to spend at the moment. Uh, and I can choose to spend that in stats uh, as a base, or I can go in and pick um, uh, things that I have available, perks that I have available. You'll see I only have two agility, so I can only go to level one and level two of agility perks. I can't get any of this stuff. Same with luck. I only have one luck, so I can't get for, uh, anything past Fortune Finder. But we have a lot here. Iron Fist. Channel your chi to unleash devastating fury. Punching attacks do 20% more damage to your opponent. This is going to be the first thing that we get. Absolutely. So we've got um, four more ranks of it. And apparently it only requires uh, strength one to get the next one as well. But we can check that because we can do alt. So we could definitely get up to rank two, but rank three will cost us to be level nine and have strength one, level 18 strength one, level 31 strength one. All of it requires only strength one. That's awesome. Uh, we've got armor available. This is what we're going to be going for. These two here are probably things that we're going to be going for. Blacksmith lets us do melee weapons. And since we're doing fist weapons, we're probably going to want to do our make our own fist weapons. Um, and so we'll want blacksmith. And we'll want armor because we'll want really good armor for our character since we're going to be shot at a lot more than somebody who's shooting from a range. Um, we also got heavy gunner available to us. Not totally useful to us, but we may get into heavy weaponry. Let's see how the series goes. Um, strong back. We have access to at level 6, so you need 6 strength before you can access this perk, is when you can start gaining major benefits to your carry capacity. Steady aim, not too useful to us. And then we can't access this one. Basher, get up and close close and personal. Gun bashing does 25% uh, more damage, so not totally useful to us either. Rooted though, maybe, so we probably want to get up to strength 9 in the future. You're a part tree, while standing still you gain 25% uh, 25 damage resistance, I keep saying percent, and your melee and unarmed damage, unarmed attacks deal 25% more damage. See, we would really want that one. Next rank, while standing still you now gain plus 50 damage resistance, and you do 50% more damage. And finally, while standing still you may automatically disarm enemies that use melee weapons against you. So we want this one real good. Pain train, choo choo, all aboard. While wearing power armor, sprinting into enemies hurts and staggers them. Robots oversized enemies are immune to stagger. So we'll probably want that too. How many ranks does I have? Two. Sprinting into enemies while wearing power armor now causes severe damage and more powerful stagger. Robots and oversized enemies are immune to stagger. Sprinting into enemies while wearing power armor now causes massive damage and knocks them down. Impact landing near enemies inflicts even more damage. And it doesn't have the thing about. Uh, robots there, so I'm wondering whether rank 3 is tricky and lets you actually have it. So we also have access to endurance, a lot of endurance stuff. Um, where is it? This. We probably want this one as well. Probably want life giver. Probably want lead belly so we can heal up at like dirty water stuff. Um, we definitely want toughness. Like, these two perks are probably our main bread and butter for now. We want rad resistance as well. Cannibal, not so much. Adamantium skeleton, absolutely. Uh, sure, you're still human on the outside. Radiation now re regenerates lost health. We probably want that as well. 
Radiation now regenerates even more if you lost health, and finally, radiation now regenerates even more if you lost health, and some feral ghouls will randomly become friendly. <laughs> Adamantium skeleton. Reduce limb damage. Reduce limb damage. Limb damage is completely eliminated, so, you know, that's stuff we absolutely 100% want. Cool. So that's a look at perks, and we'll get more in depth with that as the series goes on, but, I mean, that's the idea that we're going for at the, uh, at the start. And even though that our main two perks are available at Strength 1 and Endurance 1, we needed the high Strength and Endurance anyway, because those stats improve our damage and health from the get-go. I mean, we would be pretty fragile at just Strength 1 and Endurance 1 and wanting to go with this build right now. This place is pretty empty. Oh, there's two free stems. Whoa, hi. Hey there, how you doing? <laughs> Full cue, the right leg, welding goggles, harness. So we're probably going to wear all of that because we need armor. Harness is worse. Can we not put... The oh, we can't put that on top of the drifter's outfit. That's interesting. Uh, some gear, like this leather right leg, can go over certain other items. And apparently, drifter outfit is not one of those things. So we're just going to keep wearing our drifter outfit then. Um, like, for example, my character is going to be very nude right now, but if I did leather right leg, you can see I'm wearing just the leather right leg. And the reason my character is nude is because I'm not wearing one of those... Um, one of those types of armor that you can wear those armor sections over the top of. Expert wall safe? What is that? Wonder glue? Yes, please. Ammo. More ammo. Short pulp, pipe bolt action rifle. Heavy pipe pistol. So pipe weapons are really bad, um, but they are really cheap and they a lot of ammo becomes av available for them. I've only got one bullet for that one. But this one should have plenty already. Yep. But we're not interested in that. We're only interested in punching things. Punch things. Although, to be honest, if things do get serious enough, I will absolutely start wearing um, those road leathers at ones that we can use. Road leathers. Two base, so. We have to do a bit better than we have before. I'll give up that. Coffee cup. Right away, my girl meat. Stash, stash. What have we got here? Are you I can't jump up here? Dog meat in this game, by the way, has a really bad habit. No, I couldn't jump. It wouldn't let me get any higher than that. Um, dog meat has a real bad habit of standing right in front of you in the direction you're trying to go. Now, I'm going to quick save here because I this is the first time that I've ever done a punching build in this game. And I have no idea how effective it is for me to just run in like this. And... That was pretty good. Oh, and that's something that dog meat does. Executes characters like that. I'm going to grab all this stuff. Because all this stuff can be totally ripped apart. That guy told me to go in with him, but I'm actually going to be doing stuff. we got another level. Right. This one is probably going to go into toughness. Probably going to go Iron Fist, toughness. Uh, armorer, blacksmith. Or probably blacksmith armor, actually. So next level, we will get blacksmith. Because we probably want to improve our damage sooner. We can punch these things' heads off, I think. No, maybe only guns can do that. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at silliness. 
Equipping armor will increase damage resistance. Oh, wow. So cool. Buy a pistol. Yep. <laughs> Just kind of punch them off. Yeah, I'm ignoring that guy for now because I want to loot things. Fuses. Yes. All the fuses. Excuse me, dog. Dog. It's a sweet dog, you might say. Take that, mannequin. Okay, yeah, bottle. We need to add some buff out. Buff out's probably going to be pretty good for us. We'll probably want to use a lot of buff out, which probably means we're going to have to deal with chem addiction as well. Because buff out gives us strength. Is that the only thing it does? Do you know what? It's different in different games, so let's find out. Buff out. Doesn't say? Yeah, strength up, endurance up, max HP up. So, you know, all the things that we are interested in, <laughs> really. Now, this guy wants me to take a bunch of stuff. I'm going to take all that. Thank you. Short musket. And I'm going to take all your stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your contribution. Now we're going to get into combat. Whee! see someone over there? I thought I saw someone here. No? Don't blame me, guys. I am just ignoring you right now while I loot things. And that's okay. Because I'll get to you. Don't you worry. Go this way first. <laughs> I'm so bad at timing that running punch. Much better. A little stim. Give me all that. Thanks, lady. Someone's shooting a laser. Yeah. I get it. You don't like me. It's fine. I don't like you either. But how do I get up? Okay, for me. Ow! Don't shoot me in the face, please. I get up this. Oh god. too much because I want to keep some AP for when I need to punch things. Punch things in the face. No, stop, stop, stop running. It's a toggle sprint. It's pretty annoying. Hey boys. Comboed. <laughs> Very satisfying. on fire. I need to stim to get rid of fire. Stim to get rid of fire. This guy. Oh, I see. I wasn't able to strong punch because I didn't have the AP for it. didn't realize that it was taking AP to do that. Give me that. I'm gonna eat some food. Grow red roach. Yep. All good. So we will be taking a lot of damage with this build, but you know what? That's kind of fun to me. It's more exciting than the whole uh, stealthy 
approach. I actually really do um, enjoy the stealthy gameplay, uh, but I much prefer to play that on my own because then I'm not under the expectation of making things happen quickly. Um, because unfortunately, I think stealthy gameplay is probably pretty boring to watch. Because sometimes there can be some periods of very long silence and waiting. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Maybe. Who are the Minutemen? Minutemen? <sighs> nope. So now I'm traveling backward in time. Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but things fell apart. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Who well, are these people? people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. What's ghouls? a ghoul? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe. You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> no. Nope. Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time. Ah, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as God soon as look it. at you. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Better be a good one. Sturgis, tell her. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. <laughs> Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a rifle. Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Awesome. And look at that. Perfect. Includes an atomic command holotip. Sweet. <laughs> so that one didn't actually come with um, any kind of perk. Overhaul, uh, but it had something cool in it. Atomic Command is a a holotape game, so we need that fusion core. Oh, that is not how I wanted to do that, but okay. Thought I was going to be able to grab that ledge on the way down, so we can hack into it, or we can bobby pin it open. I'm going to hack because it won't use a bobby pin if I break it. Nope, nope. Oh no, I've only got one more try left, whatever shall I do? Well, I'm going to start doing this. This is what I would try to tell you about uh, previously. You can find matching brackets and they will replenish you sometimes. 
that last one removed a dud, which meant it removed a um, password that is not useful. Oh man, this is a really bad arrangement. It doesn't seem to be like any brackets of any kind. Oh, there's one. Dud removed. Great. So, when you have a problem like that, you just do that. And come back in. And you get all your tries back. And hopefully a better arrangement of brackets. Yes. Very much so. There we go. Uh, I tried brass, why did I do it again? <laughs> For real? This one? Any one that replenishes me though. That's what we're after. Ah! Dud removed. Dud removed. Dud removed. Uh, actually, did I do this one? Yes, I did. So let's try again. Whoa! That's in my face for some reason. <laughs> I haven't been this unlucky in a long time. Also, I haven't been this unlucky with brackets in a long time. If you're seeing brackets that I haven't clicked, I'm sorry, but uh, kind of hard to spot sometimes. To the point where you just kind of like mouse over like I'm doing now until one lights up. Like that one. Cool. Gauss. Uh, level. Uh, cruel. Likeness zero. But we're just gonna do this. Save time. <laughs> I'm a lot better at that one. Give me that fusion core. Sweet deal. If I wasn't so squeezed for time, because the episode is running long at this uh, point, I would have probably sat there and done the hacking game until it was done, but just to prove a point. <laughs> right. Sturgis, I have... Sturgis. What? Don't look at me, new gal. I just okay. fixed stuff. Look. Before I talk to this guy. May be big, okay. But he ain't much good in a fight. I need you to do this. <laughs> I really love that uh, Bethesda have new voice acting talent, but I find Gavi really hard to listen to. <clears throat> you plan on dying today? No? Then move it. Because he just doesn't yeah. sound convincing. Uh, uh. Thank you very much for pushing me while I was trying to get that. This is like perfect. Now we have an extra perception. Ridiculous. We're up to four. Somebody do Just like something. That. This is why, like, you don't necessarily want to spend uh, points on your stats either, because in case you come across bobblehead. Although I think, like uh, Fallout Three, there's probably only going to be one bobblehead for every stat. So, as long as you take your stats to 9, you won't be wasting a bobblehead if you come across with one. And there's the power armor. Before we do that, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this log from SSG Michael Daly, this cap stash, and all of this. I'm going to put the fusion core in. And be a total tease, because next episode, we're going to get into this power armor and we're going to go kick some butt. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!